in an age where social media is a huge part of most people's lives, it's refreshing to see someone in the public eye who avoids it. Laura Lyle, star of Outlander, is one of those people. From the need to maintain a public persona to focusing on their work, here are some of the reasons these stars give for staying off social media platforms. First, Lauren argues that she might not be what people imagined her to be. Just like most stars of Outlander, Lauren Lyle has been in the public eye for a while now, but she's not quite what people might might expect. In a recent interview, Lauren spoke about why she avoids social media and how she feels about her public persona. In one interview rejoined her, Lauren said she thinks people have a certain idea of her, and she was not sure that's accurate. She further commented that she's a very private person, and she doesn't really like to share much about her personal life online. Lauren also spoke about how she feels about her public persona. She argues how funny it feels to be a star, because she feels like she has two different personas. On one hand, she feels like there is the public Lauren, who people see in interviews and on social media. And then there's the real Lauren, who is much more introverted and private. This calls for her decision in choosing which best suits their interest as celebrities. According to her, maintaining her private life and focusing on her career development is key. And this explains why she opts to keep the private Laurel over the public Laurel. It sounds like Lauren is aware of how she comes across to the public, and she's not entirely comfortable with it. It makes sense that she would want to keep her private life separate from her public image. She gives honest details about how she appears in the public eye, something that motivates her to keep her life much more private. In one interview session, she says, I'm very aware that I'm in the public eye and that people are interested in my life, but I also know that I'm not really what people imagine me to be. Lauren explained that she tries to keep her private life as separate as possible from her public persona. She doesn't share much on social media, and when she does speak publicly, she tries to be as honest and open as possible. She says, I think it's important for people to see that I'm just a normal person. I'm not perfect, and I don't have everything figured out. I make mistakes, and I learn from them. This emphasis is important for her because it can help the public understand that celebrities are just normal people who have their own inequities, just like any human being. She therefore calls for understanding and rationality in terms of how the life of celebrities like her are handled and treated by the public. Lauren also spoke about how her experience on Outlander has changed her life. She said that being a part of such a huge show has been both wonderful and challenging. She narrated how being part of that show has given her lucrative opportunities, as well as challenges in equal measure. While she argues how tough it can be for a star of her level to navigate and balance between the two extremes of maintaining a healthy lifestyle and working long hours and traveling a lot, there is a lot of peace in focusing and just staying away from the pressures of social media. Despite the challenges, though, Lauren said that she's grateful for the opportunities Outlander has given her. She's excited to see what the future holds, both for herself and for the show. From the interview, it is clear that Lauren Lyle is a very private person. She is not comfortable with sharing her personal life online or with the public in general. Lauren also feels like she has two different personas, the public Lauren and the real Lauren. The public Lauren is the one people see in interviews and on social media, while the real Lauren is introverted and private. Overall, Lauren tries to be as honest and open as possible about her life and her experiences. Another reason relates to the pressure of fan reaction on social media. Another reason that Laura Lyle avoids social media is due to the pressure of fan reaction. With a show as popular as Outlander, there is bound to be a lot of feedback on social media platforms. This can be overwhelming for some people, and Lyle is no exception. She prefers to avoid negative comments and focus on the positive aspects of her career. We all appreciate that Outlander is a very popular show, and Laura Lyle is one of the main characters. She has a large fan base, and some of them can be very critical. Lyle doesn't want to deal with the negative comments, so she avoids social media. Some of the stars also simply want to focus on their work. This is another reason why they avoid social media. Lyle is an actress, and she wants to be known for her acting ability, not for her social media presence. She feels that social media can take away from her work and she doesn't want that to happen. Lyle is a private person, and she doesn't want to share her personal life with the world. Lyle prefers to keep her personal life separate from her professional life, and she doesn't want to share too much information on social media. Laurel Lyle isn't the only actor from Outlander who avoids social media. Sam Hewen, who plays Jamie Frazier, is also MIA on most platforms. Hewen has said that he avoids social media to protect his sanity and mental health. Both Lyle and Hewen have said that they feel social 
media can be a negative force in their lives, and they would rather focus on their work and personal lives. This is understandable, given the amount of pressure that comes with being a part of such a popular show. Next is the notion that their adaptation is based on the earlier novels. The adaptation of Outlander is based on the earlier novels in the series, which is why Laurel Lyle avoids social media. Lyle believes that the earlier novels are the better source material for the show, as they provide more depth and detail than the later books. Another reason why Laurel keeps off social media is that there is a belief that Diana Gabaldon dislikes the show. This is perhaps the most persistent myth about Outlander. There are a few reasons why people believe this. Firstly, Gabaldon has been critical of some of the changes made in the adaptation. Secondly, she has said that she doesn't watch the show. And finally, she has been critical of some of the actors' performances. Laurel argues, however, that it's important to remember that Gabaldon is an author, not a showrunner. She has no control over the adaptation, and she has said that she is generally happy with how it is turning out. So while she might not be a fan of every change that has been made, it's unfair to say that she dislikes the show as a whole. Lyle isn't the only one who feels this way. Many fans of the book series prefer the early novels to the later ones. This is likely due to the fact that the early novels are more faithful to author Diana Gabaldon's original version for the story, while the later books strayed away from some of the elements that made the early novels so special. The adaptation has stayed true to those elements. This has led to a show that is not only more faithful to the source material, but also more visually stunning and emotionally resonant. So while Laura Lyle may avoid social media, she can rest assured knowing that she's a part of a show that is bringing joy to fans all over the world. So, what's the bottom line in all these? No matter how public our lives may seem, we all have a right to keep certain aspects of our lives private. For Laura Lyle, that means avoiding social media. From the interview, it is clear that Lauren Lyle is a very private person. She is not comfortable with sharing her personal life online or with the public in general. Lauren also feels like she has two different personas, the public Lauren and the real Lauren. The public Lauren is the one people see in interviews and on social media, while the real Lauren is introverted and private. Overall, Lauren tries to be as honest and open as possible about her life and her experiences. While we all have different reasons for staying off social media, Lyle's decision is understandable. Social media can be a great way to connect with friends and family, but it can also be a source of stress and anxiety. For some people, it's simply not worth the hassle. If you're considering staying off social media, or if you're just looking for ways to reduce your stress levels, take a page out of Laurel Lyle's book and avoid the platforms altogether. You might be surprised at how much better you feel without them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.